All right, what we got here today is these Tyco Varney mill cars that I made. Finally got everything done. Uh, these two right here are the ones with KDs on the end, and the rest have the horn hook couplers. As you can tell from this, hopefully the light is good, and you can see all this right here is uh, the polystyrene flat. Uh, white polystyrene board that I took my heat gun and melted it down until it formed these little balls and I glued them inside the car uh, painted them I think I painted them first I just put them in a bag a Ziploc bag with the paint and you know just finagled it around until it covered every inch and then after it dried I glued it in here and then did some touch-up work with some acrylic paint these came out surprisingly well I like the way these came out. Little El Cheapo Tyco cars. They'll look really cool on the mill, working around the mill. But these two, all, all the loads are totally different from one another. Hopefully the camera can focus in on them. I'm really proud of these loads. They came out great. I tried to model like slag or, um, yeah, basically slag, leftover slag. It's been, you know, run through the plant, picked out with a magnet, and separated, and this is going back for remelt. And this is, as you can tell, is the car where I ran out of this material, and then I just filled it in with sand. Figured that would look pretty snazzy. And mostly this is all done with acrylic paints. I did paint the cars with rattle can spray paint, and then uh, touched up spots with acrylic and then use weathering powders. These came out surprisingly well. So this is the last time I'll update and pester people about, hey, look at this cool car. This is it. These will be on the mill next time you see them, whenever that is, hopefully soon. But they were a lot of fun. And I urge you, if you get really bored and you got some of these cars laying around, it's a really fun project to do. All you need is a heat gun, a couple of old freight cars, and you can go to town on them real easy. Oh, check out uh, Dan's Railroad 2011. I just did uh, a couple of old railgun, roundhouse railgun gondolas. I used Dan's method to uh, ding out the sides, and it's a lot better method. And uh, it worked great. I was so happy the cars came out really well, and I even used his weathering technique. I think they came out pretty darn good learned a lot from that guy very good model railroader very talented but these are it this is it these are my beat to tar nation mill guns and that's it i'm out